so this is like the fourth time that I was going to try and actually film a intro and say welcome to my channel. My name's Ashley and I am a mom of three crazy little ones and I need my needle. And yeah, I do embroidering, I do sewing and there is more to come on this channel because I will be actually moving into a different space and that is coming soon along with other things. So if you like any of that stuff, please consider subscribing. And I'm probably gonna include the bloopers of me trying to literally film this intro for the fourth time at the end. So enjoy those. But yeah, so I am Swamp with Cowboy Sets. I have three orders I need to get out today. Well, would like to get out today um one definitely needs to go out today so it is already uh, two o'clock and as you guys will see we went to a massive hobby lobby massive um had to travel and go get my fabric because my order did not show up yet i tried to get on the internet yesterday and see where it was and what was going on with it they were trying to say that I did not have an account and that um, my order didn't exist. So of course I went into panic mode and they live on central time and I'm eastern time. So I had to wait for all of that to, you know, adjust. <clears throat> Anyways, finally got a hold of someone. She said that it had just shipped out that morning that they, you know, did um, a new thing with their website. So blah, 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 all this stuff. And that my order will not actually say it's in transit until it reaches a closer distribution center to me. So I have no clue when I'm getting my fabric. And I have adjusted my inventory on my fabric, you know, going to be here, which that is my mistake, my fault, my up. But it's okay. Because my Hobby Lobby, that is like literally not even 10 minutes away from me, was completely out of it. And I know all of them up there very well. And they didn't order it, unfortunately. So yeah, we had to travel about a half hour and go to another one. And I mean, no one was complaining because it was freaking, it was huge. The kids enjoyed it. Got to we'll go for a little ride. Um... Jake has actually been sick this week and he has been off the last couple days because he tested for COVID and everything and everything came back negative. But when he had went to urgent care, they told him to treat it like it was COVID. So then of course I went into a panic attack again because Atticus is only three months old. <laughs> And the kids and everything else. Not so much me. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. But you just never know. So, anyways. Went into, like, panic attack about the kids getting sick. And, you know. So, he ended up. He is currently off. He is finally feeling better. This is the first day that he's feeling better in, like, probably four days. That's why they were just assuming it was. But... I told him that if he was not better today, I was sending him to the ER because in case there was any other underlying issues, because he tested every single day and every single day it came back negative. But that man is never cold. He is always running hot. And I'm usually always freaking freezing. But anyways. So I am literally going to bust my ass today and try to get as many orders out today, which will put me ahead for um, like mid next week. And I am hoping that the next video I film will be a craft room tour because I am literally busting my butt right now to try to get as much stuff done so I can get ahead so I can actually get down and clean everything because I want to mop everything because it's the basement and you know just make sure it's all nice and fresh and smelly good and <sighs> get all of that organized and all my yarn and my tumbler stuff is down in the basement already 
So again, like I said, there's many things you will see to come on this channel, but everything is downstairs already with that stuff. So now I have to reorganize that stuff to make room for all of this stuff. So I am going to be in a smaller space. It'll be worth it though, because this will technically be like our room because it's technically a bedroom. And then my kids will be able to have the dining room back and I'm hoping that we will be able to actually have a dining room table. So if you hear my kids screaming, I promise you my husband is out there with them. My daughter is refusing a nap and Atticus has not napped yet. So. We are like, Engage is definitely like, he doesn't really nap anymore, but he is definitely in need of a nap today because he didn't sleep well the other night and I don't know if his like tonsils were bothering him or what, which I can't wait to get the verdict on what's going on there here soon. But it's just been, one thing after another so and then Jake's truck broke down so now we have to get a new truck I don't know if I said that in another vlog or not I've just been filming and talking we're just not talking just getting work done but anyways yeah <sighs> my one video just went live and I'm interested to see like what all of you guys think on the gatekeeping and the trademarks and Etsy and reviews and everything else like that. So we'll see uh see what you guys think. But I am going to continue to bust ass on getting this stuff done and hopefully getting ahead because I have just got another one today I have 13 open western sets that I need to get done and not all of them are like full on western sets Ooh, not all of them are full on western sets but it is see like I'm paranoid I actually singe this fabric because it's like the way it is with the satin it's a little stretchy but and it frays a lot actually singe it first and then I go through and roll it and uh, I do all that stuff but so yeah I don't know if I'm gonna make this a I hate whenever your thread comes out of your needle like why why would you do that why do you do that to me thread I don't appreciate it one bit I want to just be able to start sewing but we might have to go give Jake a hand. Again, he's still not feeling 110%, but that man right there is busting his butt right now to handle all three of them, considering I usually handle all of them. Not that he doesn't, but I just know how to handle them better because I'm around them constantly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give him a hand. She got a pair of my double bell 
knit blue jean bell bottoms, which I'm almost out of this fabric. So needless to say, I think I can do like probably one more pair with this. And then my double bell um, black bell bottoms. But these actually pick up around the holidays. And this is like a brush knit, super freaking soft. But I am going to package this up. Evelyn is playing with fabric scraps. And I am going to go take the kids outside, have a beer, and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. What's up guys? So, as you can see, um, yeah, we went to a huge Hobby Lobby earlier this morning. Averlyn and Jesus, because I am working my butt off right now to get caught up on orders. And, Okay. A whole bunch of stuff along with mom chaos. So, as you can see, what baby, baby, Bubby, I can't eat. I'm like, I used to yell at my mom for not getting my name right and confusing it with my sisters. And I am realizing now that I am doing that a week ago. So, actually, a little over a week ago. But, oh, I gave me an alligator. Thank you. Nom, 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 nom. That was that funny. Not funny. Nom 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 nom. Don't focus eyes. 